In this lecture, in order to secure our Express application, we are going to set some of the very important security headers on the response which we are sending from our Express app. And to set these security headers, again, we are going to create a global middleware function. And again, for that, we are going to install an NPM package called Helmet. So before we go ahead and install this Helmet package, let's first see the documentation for this Helmet package and what do we use it for. Let's go to the browser and here search for Helmet GitHub and open this first link here. And here, if you will scroll down, there you will see this README. And there you will learn that this helmet, it helps us secure Express app by setting some HTTP response headers. Okay, now what HTTP headers this package sets on the response? If you scroll down, you will see that these are the headers which this package will set on the HTTP response. And if you want to learn more about these headers, you can scroll down and here you can see all those headers. So if you expand this, you can learn what that header will actually do. So for example, this content security policy header, it mitigates a large number of attacks such as cross-site scripting. Okay, then if we check another header, for example, this cross-origin resource policy. So the cross-origin resource policy header blocks others from loading your resource cross origin in some cases so if you want to learn more about these headers which this helmet package is going to set on the response you can learn about it from here all right now let's see how we can use this helmet package in our express app to add these security headers on the response let's go to vs code and there first of all we are going to install a package so i'll go to this terminal here and here we will say npm install helmet let's press enter okay that package is installed let's go ahead and let's require it here so let's create a variable let's simply call it as helmet and we want to require the helmet package and now this package here it is going to return us a function and when we will call that function that function will return us a middleware. So we want to use that middleware in this Express app in order to add the security headers. So again, what we are going to do is we are going to use that middleware at the top. That's because it's always a good practice to use this helmet middleware at the beginning so that the security headers get set on the response really at the beginning and it does not get missed. So here, what we are going to do is we are going to use app.use and to that we are going to call this helmet function okay so as we already know to this app.use we need to pass a middleware function and when we are calling this helmet function it is going to return us a middleware function so that middleware function we are passing to this app.use and that's it now this here it will add some security headers on the response and since we are here, let's do one more thing. So here we are calling this express.json. So here what we can do is we can specify the amount of data that our APIs will accept in the request body. And this will allow us to prevent denial of service attack as we learned in the last lecture. So here what we are going to do is to this JSON, we need to pass an object. In that object, we need to specify a property called limit. And there we can set some limit on the request body. So here, let's say here, I want to accept maximum of 10 KB of data in the request body. And this will make sure that in the request body, we should get maximum of 10 KB of data. If we are getting more than that, in that case, it will truncate the rest of the data. It will only accept 10 KB of data. So with this, let's save the changes. Let's go to Postman and let's test if in the headers, in the response headers, we have the security headers set or not. So let's go to Postman. Currently in the headers, we can see 10 headers, but now let's go ahead and let's make a request and then let's see the response headers. And now you will see in the header, we have 21 headers. So here, some of the security headers are also added. For example, this content security policy, this cross origin opener policy, 
cross origin resource policy so these are all the security headers which has been added by the helmet package so if we go to the documentation again there you can see that these are the security headers which is being added on the response header so when we are setting these security headers the browsers can understand these security headers and they can act upon them accordingly and by adding these security headers we are making our application more secure so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day